Okay, so what if you're what if, what if you're helping someone who's in pain? You know, for, you know, I really, I mean, to take what you want, leave the rest. Everything I say, just you know, it's up to each individual. But I really see that my function here, because I'm interested in enlightenment, is to clear the data in the world that is registered in my. So, like an avatar, for me, is someone who comes. I'm not claiming to be an avatar. I can teach or anything. But an avatar is someone who's here just to clear the collective karma of suffering. To be able to clear the collective karma of suffering means there is no personal identity. There is no person trying to save another person. You, what you're doing is you're transcending the data that there's a me, and you're transcending the data that there is another person in suffering. And once you get to these non-dual spaces of the infinite love, which can never die, what happens is miracles are unfolded into the, into, the, into the dualistic world. To the extent that there is separation, something in separation is trying to save another person in separation, to that extent the vibration lowers. So, not to say that the more you're dualistic, you can still help the other person, but the, the, uh, the um, intervention by grace, miracles, uh, uh, that is being reduced. So yes, you can function. You can be really in your ego and you can give someone a, a drink of chicken soup. But, you know, in terms of inviting the miraculous, it's very limited. So, um, actually, like with my mother, you know, who, who had diabetes and, 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 and was an overeater, I wanted to completely transcend her as my mother transcend all things. Uh, she did pass away and it was lovely. I told her I loved her. She, she told me she loved me and I was there. She passed. But I had this thing where, you know, she, she came back. I've shared this on camera. It was miraculous. So she came back with her legs were, were flaming with oedema. And the doctor said to you, well, you've got heart failure. There's nothing you can do. You just have to just accept that. And she sent me back. So I just did. And I knew that I just have to clear my data that this is actually happening, that this is actually real and that she's in suffering. So actually, God did not create Uedema. So this is lesson 14 of A Course in Miracles. It says, God did not create it, it's not real. I.e., in the absolute truth of the universe, there is no suffering. There is no death. There is no me and you. It doesn't exist in truth. So God did not create Uedema in my mother, it's not real. I just did this in my room. And, and, she, and she somehow knew something was happening for me, even though I didn't say it. And she came and said, look, oh, the swelling is going down. And within a few days it had gone. But, you know, I didn't want to hold on that she's suffering and this is real. I wanted to completely delete that data. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But I want to transcend that there is suffering. I, but if I'm witnessing the suffering of another's, I have an opportunity for me to transcend that belief that there is suffering that I'm witnessing. So I always, when I try and transcend something, I try and transcend the data until it no longer exists for me. Completely gone. And I find that, you know, the intervention of miracles is, is, is of a greater likelihood. So for those I love, I try and delete my story and their story completely to invite miracles. So this can seem very heartless in the sense that, oh, I want to have my personal story. But I really try and delete my personal story. I really believe that grace, the thing of like, can I practically, what about you've got practically to do things for them and pay, you know, look after them. But I really think you can transcend the baggage around having to do things for people as well, so that it's meaningless. And I function better helping someone when it's very neutral and I'm in the observer. When I've got like, oh, like mum, you're suffering, oh, I feel sorry for you, oh, I feel your pain. For me, that is like so heavy. I know that I'm not inviting miracles. So I really want to really let go of my story and their suffering completely.